All right, for the first video, we're just going to make sure that we have everything installed that we need to start developing scripts for DCS with, uh, with Moose. So the first thing we're going to need is Git. So if you just Google for uh, Git, G-I-T, come down to downloads here, it's download for Windows, and just the default one is fine. Let's grab that and run it. Hey, Niels from the editing studio here. Uh, I'm going through the installer, but I'm just basically leaving every option set to the default option. So you could just go ahead and do that as well. Cool, so it's done now. We don't need to view the release notes and just finish this. And then the second thing we're going to install is PyCharm. Now, PyCharm is a, uh, a code editor that's actually made for Python, as the name suggests. Uh, the only reason that I use it for Lua scripting for DCS is because I've been using PyCharm for over a decade uh, for work. It's the code editor that I'm most used to. I know exactly how it works. And there is a plugin that we can use that allows us to um, write Lua code and get code completion. So let's come to the download link here. We don't want to grab the professional one because that's a paid version. Uh, we can grab the community version, which will do everything that we needed to do. So let's download this. And let's run the installer. Um, I do like to check this open folder as project, just so it's convenient. Um, and that's about, well, we can add the bin to the, to the pad as well. Right, and when it's done installing, just uh, reboot the computer and you should be good to go. And then in the next part, we're going to look at how to set up PyCharm to uh, get working with Moose. And now that PyCharm is installed, let's uh, do our initial setup. So let's open the program. And you'll be met with this uh, window. We don't have a project yet. We will make that in uh, a later part. But the first thing that we are going to do is customize so that we um, we have a nice environment to work with. I personally like using a dark theme. Um, so I always have this set to dark. You can change this to light if you want to. Uh, the font and the colors and all that kind of stuff, you can change that later, of course. Um, one thing that we will going to need is a plugin. And if you come to the plugins tab here, you see there's a, um, a marketplace tab and an install tab. On the marketplace, search for ME Lua. And this is important. If at the time of recording this video, the latest version is 1.4.7, which actually has problems with auto completing code. Um, if when you're watching this, um, the version that you see is 1.4.8 or something higher than 1.4.7, go ahead and install that. If not, I will provide you with a link to the 1.4.8 version of the plugin. And to install that, you just come to the little cogwheel here and do install plugin from disk. Uh, browse to where that zip file is, which is on the on my D drive here. Um, so you will get this um, you'll get this uh, error or notice, which is fine. Um, let's just install that, and then it will prompt you to restart the IDE. We can do that later. And then the next thing we're going to do is set up the folder structure for our project. So to do that. Uh, pick a location where you want to do that. So I'm just going to do it here right on my D drive. Got to make a new folder and let's call this, uh, I don't know, DCS scripting. Inside DCS scripting, this is where we're going to clone Moose uh, and we're going to put all of our mission files and basically everything we want to do with DCS. I like to keep that all together in one folder, so that's why I'm going to do this. So the first folder I'm going to create is just a folder called missions like this, and we're going to clone Moose into this folder as well. So to do that, let's go to the Moose GitHub repository, um, which is this. I will link it in the video, of course. Now, if you uh, go to the flight control, uh, go to flight controls main page here, you will see there's several uh, things or several repositories. The one that we're interested in is just Moose. If you click on this, um, you can either download the zip file and extract it in the folder. But since we installed Git, we're going to do it the proper way and use Git. Um, so if we click here to copy the link to the repository, then go back to our folder. Uh, the easiest way that I like doing this is in the folder, if you click on the address bar and type in CMD, it will actually open a command prompt right in um, this folder location. And then we can do Git clone and paste in that repository. 
And as you can see, it's now grabbing the entire Moose repository and uh, downloading it to this folder. In the next part, we're going to set up PyCharm and do some testing in DCS. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.